Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm putting a video up that so many have requested on solar pumps. Now, let me see if you can see, see this solar pump? Here's the panel, I took it off. This one stopped working and a few people have asked me to make a video on how do you get them to work if they stop. And the problem was all of mine have been working. They rarely stop. But sometimes you can just flush a hose in the top, you know, just take your hose and flush it and whatever's in there will, you know, flush out of the back. I hope you can see that. Um, but if it doesn't, they won't work. So today I had one that did not work and you and I are going to watch the video I just put together. It's still wet. I just fixed it and I'm going to show you how to fix it. This is only good if you know this this technique will only work if you would put it to your ear and you put the panel out in the sun and you sometimes you'll hear a little click like a click click it doesn't have to be click 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 just a little click that means the motor is trying to work it's trying to do its thing and turn it's a magnet motor but sometimes things get in there and it will stop it don't throw them away now if the panel something happens to the panel then you'll have to get a new panel but if it's the motor and you can hear it, you can fix it. So let's go watch the video that I just put together and I'll run it and I'll put myself in the corner and I'll explain what is going on. So here I am showing you that I put it in water. It was still attached. The entire thing was still attached. I had not unplugged it yet and I couldn't get it to work. No matter what, I could not get it to work. And I could hear when I had put it to my ear that it was still clicking. So I knew that the motor wasn't dead. So I disconnected it, disconnected. You can turn the panel over, but you don't want it to try to work while you're working on it. You're not going to get electrocuted or anything. It's got such a small voltage, but I disconnect it for the safety of the motor. I don't want to ruin the motor. So with that, I have a special knife. I don't know what those knives are called. I use it for jewelry, but it's a really thin, thin knife. It's like so, it's paper thin. And you just pop the side off. You'll see there's like a little design. Well, it actually slides in there and you just pop it off. Then you take the cover off where the motor is. Now, I took that little piece off. No reason to, you didn't have to but you can take it off. It, it was no reason and you didn't need it on. See, now you get the cover off the motor. Now inside there is the motor and that's the little flywheel. And I use a tweezers and I could see it was stiff. See, I tried to turn it, it wouldn't turn. So I lifted it out and all in all, it looked pretty clean. Um, yeah, I had a little slime to it, but there it was, hair, probably dog hair. Look at that. Hair got in there and it would not allow the fly, there's a couple pieces of hair, would not allow the flywheel to spin. So if hair gets in there, a lot of times you can't flush it out. So I removed the hair, I kind of looked, and there I'm just kind of looking inside to see if there's anything else. I could have used a flashlight, but I just wanted to kind of clean it out a little bit. See how it's a magnet? It's a magnet, that's how the motor works, and it's supposed to be free flowing, so the magnet will make it spin. And um, I just made sure there's no more hair. It looked clean. Here I'm just checking it, see if there's anything else in there. You can use a flashlight if you want and look inside, but all in all, it looked pretty clean. And I just wanted to get some water in there and flush out if there was any dirt that's in there. I didn't get a really good shot. Sorry about that. I thought I did, but that's all I was doing was looking. Now you put that flywheel and the motor, well, it's the magnet and the flywheel back in. The motor is inside that the black casing. It is inside the casing, but you put the flywheel back and now it turned. See, when I put it back in, I could feel it was turning. And I could feel that it could free turn. It still had the magnet, so it was a little stiff, but not like when I opened it up. I couldn't, I could barely get it to turn. There it goes. I, I tested it and I plugged it in and it's moving. Look at that. Now it can spin again. Hair is the worst enemy of anything. It's kind of like your vacuum cleaner. You get too much hair in there, it's gonna block everything up. So now you just put it back together. It's that simple. It's really easy. Don't throw them away. Always try this first. So there is the top. That's the little cover that's gonna hold the flywheel and the little magnetic part, the whole unit in. Just put it back on. 
push it on, it snaps right on, and then you snap on the case, the outside grid. That's where the water flows back and forth freely in. Just snap it on. They're done! That's it. You can put your piece back if you had a piece on. If you didn't, don't worry about it. This is just an extra piece. Now I'm testing it here. I am so excited when this happens because they're so easy to fix. As long as something gets caught in there, if the panel didn't get broke, then you're good to go and you can just fix it up. And that's how easy it is. That simple. So if you've got any that stopped working, it can build up maybe hard water or something in there. Clean it all out. Just take it apart. Just unplug it. And I'm just, I'm just kind of go, going over it one more time to show you. So you'll see the line on the side, and that's where you put the knife, the thin knife. Just put it in there. And you won't actually see. There's nothing to unsnap. There's no way telling you to take it apart because I don't want you to take it apart. I want you to buy a new one. And there's no reason to it take it apart. But that's all you have to do is just, you'll see the groove. It'll look like just the line. You can see where you think it's glued, but it's not glued together. And you, that's just that's all you have to do with very super thin knife. That's the whole thing. You can't use a regular dinner knife. You might be able to use a pocket knife. If you've got a good pocket knife that's that's got a very thin blade. That's the main thing. It's got to have a very thin blade. And then it will just pop right off. That's it. You just pop it off. See, that's the whole thing to it. Just a thin blade. Just take it off and then take the little flywheel unit off, the mag magnet with the flywheel, and just clean it up. Check inside because, like I said, hair is the worst. It could be all kinds of different things in there. And, and that's how you fix them. I've only had, had to fix a couple of them, very few. I rarely have that problem. I flush it usually with a hose and it back flushes out. But hair sometimes won't. It'll get wrapped around that little pin inside that makes the uh, motor spin. And if it gets wrapped around and inside the casing there, then it just locks it up and it will not spin. And if it doesn't spin, it won't pump the water out. But that's how simple it is to take apart. And again, I would unplug it or make sure that the solar panel is at least in the shade. It, like I said, you're not gonna electrocute yourself, but you don't wanna damage anything. It's just easier to make sure it's not trying to spin and shoot off anywhere and that's it that's that's how easy it is literally in seconds in less than a minute you can have it fixed now that's going over it twice put your attachments back and you are good to go and that's it look at that so that's how you can clean out and refurbish your own solar fountain pump if it stops working it's that simple you know something else i want to say real quick since I've got you here, this one has just got a simple unit. See, it's very simple, and that just plugs in. Some of them have a double pin. When you take them apart, this one does not. There might be two pins. Do line them up because there's a little notch in there. If you're plugging it and unplugging it, make sure they line up. But that's all there is to it. And you can just fix them, one, two, three. So again, if they ever stop working, Take it apart first. If the solar panel went, you can sometimes buy new solar panels because so many of them interchange, but not all of them. Don't throw it away in case you ever do have a damaged solar panel. Then you can always swap it if something does happen. But that's all it is. That's all there is to to fix your solar pump if it stops working. So with that, I hope I gave you some ideas of not to throw it away. Try this first before you give up and then it should work as good as new. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah, that's the hummingbirds back there. They're just starting to come in. It's a nice warm day, but they've been feeding all day. I've gone through a gallon and a half already, and we're not even at the end of the day, so i got to fill their feeders. Have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.